Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech. Now, um, I have a good and a bad news for you. The good news is we're gonna play today. The bad news is um, I, I, I just recorded a game and um, the game file, uh, the, the recording file was corrupted and I cannot bring back my save game because I was recording in bulk and uh, my autosaves made, made it so that all of my um, of my games were, you know, overwritten. And now we are actually one mission ahead, but the mission was, wasn't that, well, it was actually pretty interesting, honestly. So we, we had an uh, intercept the S uh, and, and convoy, uh, intercept a convoy mission. That's what I wanted to say. And um, yeah, that, that's it. Now I um, spent some time in, in between to uh, outfit my max, and we're gonna go for a nice two skull mission today. And we're gonna do it with our quick draw that we had before. We have the Centurion ready with LRMs and LRMs are good here. Long range missiles are the hot shit. We have uh, the Blackjack and the Shadowhawk. So, this is gonna be a battle, and I'm looking very much forward to it. So, let's get in and take the bait. That's what we do. It's a battle. We are fighting a heavy mech, and this is why I'm going for it. I want to have another heavy mech in my lands, and I want to salvage it from the battlefield. Therefore, we're gonna negotiate for high salvage here. I want to get that and yeah, I want to get a get a high chance of getting it. I don't care about sea bills right now because we are, uh, what's that, five months ahead of our finances. That's really good. And we're gonna use again the Centurion, and um, yeah, the Shadowhawk, the Quick Draw, and the Blackjack. The maximum firepower that we can get on the battlefield. Highlands, uh, biome feature, thick woodlands provide cover as well as a sudden elevation change and rocky. Okay, that's really good. So maybe we can get something like a sensor lock online and then shoot lerms at the at the target. We also have a new pilot. Uh, I um, got Kefla out of the hiring hall. Uh, she's really good, like six guts, five gunnery. She got bulwark and multi-target as uh, already. But I want to bring a glitch into the Centurion. Why? Because she has tactics four, which means uh, one point of. Um, indirect fire penalty less so we got minus one indirect final fire penalty on glitch and uh, the centurion will most likely shoot indirectly often that's what we're gonna want to go for here we have warpath with high guts which means high heat threshold and uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be very handy here so our quick draw is a frontliner he wants to get there dish out as much damage as possible and get kills and then higher heat threshold with high guts is really really handy we got the blackjack here kevlar multi-target staying at the mid-range and shooting uh, all the stuff uh, we have behemoth basically doing the same thing in the shadowhawk our Shadowhawk being, of course, a little bit of, uh, of a sturdier mech compared to the Blackjack, but the Blackjack has more firepower at the moment. Now, question is, Kevlar or Behemoth? Shall we switch them? Does that make any sense? Now, Behemoth has uh, the piloting 4, which gives a higher stability threshold. So Kevlar is gonna be... No, we're gonna make it so. I think that's better. We got, we, the, the Shadowhawk can stay... I don't know. Can stay at mid-range because we have a we have a long-range load out there. No, no, no. Let's let's do it like this. I want to bring the Shadowhawk a little bit closer than the Blackjack, uh, just to absorb some damage because it's the sturdier mech in general. And this battle here is gonna be tough. We fight against again at least one heavy mech. He will probably have some guards. We are medium and heavy here. Uh, firepower is okay on our side. And we also have the objective to get some salvage here. So we cannot just go for easy kills and just grind through the center torso. I want to go for legs. I want to make use of my precision strike. I want, again, I want that heavy mech, whatever it is. I want to upgrade my my, my roster here and uh, get, get better stuff so that we can advance through the missions here. So what does it say? Commander, the Kaplan Confederation is tracking an extremely heavy, extremely heavy mech with uh, Canopian heraldry. This provocation is almost certainly bait for a trap. We'd like you to stop. Uh, we'd like you to spring this trap, engage the heavy mech, intercept the forces the Magistracy of Canopus sends to defend it and destroy all of them. And that's what we're gonna do here. Now Glitch is inspired from a recent event. She can take precision strikes with only 10 morale compared to 20 morale. That's really nice. So move up and try to flush it out. Let's see what sort of trap this is. Stay alert, Commander. Oliver out. So, there's uh, the heavy mech, probably. Destroy enemy units seems... Okay, seems fair to me. And I want to bring more Warpath over here and bring the other mechs a little bit close to him. But I want them to stay behind. And I want to get sensor lock before we do anything else. Maybe the enemy is actually coming to us already. So maybe we can set up a trap here. Well, we don't know. There's actually enemy movement. 
I wonder, however, if they're actually moving straight directly towards us or not. I had some kind of this mission before when um, there was something like, hey, there's a heavy mech, go ahead and, and, and destroy it. Um, the thing that I want to do here is I want to brace all of my mechs just because when I played the other mission on my stream, they, I, I just rushed the front line and then in, instantly reinforcements came in. Like there were four mechs on the battlefield as the main force and then four more mechs and a tank as reinforcements, which uh, was hell of a fight. I love that fight. And uh, it was super close. I uh, lost one mech warrior, but it was so good. Fighting eight mechs at the same time with a medium lance is so intense. But uh, I want to play it a little bit more safe. So one more brace and if then nothing happens, we're gonna go in. I just want to make sure. Right, but I'm to go. Okay, there's nothing happening. So where where to engage, or how to engage actually? Shall we go down the right side for the to take the the trees as cover, or shall we just go over here and then jump into this tree line? We also have uh, a river here, which helps us with heat management. I think this is the way to go. Roger Let's go. Mm, you go and up, ah, we there we go. We got a blip on the radar. Okay, so we can do one more maneuver with all of our mechs. And as I said before, I want to stay on the left side here. Okay, bring Kevlar in. Kevlar has um, has the bulwark ability, so it's not a problem. We jump over here to get a free angle. So she can actually just stay there and and, and use, use the blackjack and, and dig in there. Uh, yeah, brace please. Hot damn. All right, we got two light max, so it seems, and here they come. All right, what's that? A locust. A locust is not a problem. Absolutely not. We're just gonna deal with that thing. All right, I'm pretty happy that um, the locust is going for Kevlar here, being being um, entrenched and guarded, getting less stability damage and of course less overall damage, like 50% damage reduction. Another locust. Okay. The light max swarm. But locusts are squishy. You can deal with them very easily. What we want is uh, we want to open up with um, pinpoint. So bringing our AC5 to the locust, seeing if we can destroy a leg or even a center torso, depending on, of course, their condition. Ooh, a PPC shot. That's a panther. Okay. This is four mechs already. I mean, it's all light mechs. As I said, relatively early to destroy, or easy to destroy early. Yeah. Um, so, do we just stay here? I mean, why would I move now? Problem is, of course, that the guy is um, is evasive, like four evasive chevrons. Um, 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 we gotta use the blackjack as our first line of attack, do we? I mean, this would be a massive loss of firepower. No, let's let's use the shadowhawk. Honestly, I hear ya. That would probably be the best idea. Okay, we gotta go for this locust. I wanna get some evasion off this thing, so start shooting at it. Let's see how you like this. And I'm not moving any forward because again, I'm afraid of reinforcements. It's nice. That's really good. Side torso destroy. That was exactly what I wanted. The AC to the point. And now Kevlar is following up with a bunch of medium lasers, so heat chances are okay. 40% is not great, but it's okay. Heat management is okay. That early in the game, we don't have to bother with that. CT destroyed, and that's exactly what I wanted. Great, good. That's a kill. And that's how you deal with locusts. Waiting you just you, kill Commander. them. <laughs> so, do we want to use our LRMs? These guys are guarded. They only take 50% damage and 50% stability damage. And also, I want to I want to save some ammo. So, I'm gonna reserve glitch. I'm gonna go well, yeah, ahead Commander. and bring Warpath to the front. Oh, unknown mech. Is that the heavy that we are talking about? Most likely, yeah. It is the heavy that we are talking about. Okay, so Warpath, get in there. Um, we... Huh, I could jump here to get uh, the second evasive chevron. And I also have cover. Yeah, let's go for this. 
just get a little bit of more defense going here. And as I said here, yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> uh, the hit chances are so bad. We're gonna shoot our medium laser plus. By the way, I got a medium laser plus. Yay. Full, full, full good. Yeah, great. It's a, it's a plus one... Uh, accurate. No, wait. Why plus one accuracy? Plus two accuracy. What's that? Because of the arm. Yeah, this is... Uh, Arm mounted. Okay, interesting. No, but this thing deals five more damage. That's nice. Okay, uh, we're gonna shoot this. We're gonna shoot... I don't want to overheat. Oh, I want, don't want to generate too much heat right now. So two medium lasers, two SRMs is what we go for. Why? Because I want to be able to... Holy shit. I want to be able to shoot the, the heavy mech when it comes in with a big alpha strike. And leg him. And then go go from there. So that was nothing. That was nothing. I think we can afford shooting one salvo there. Let's move up. I read you, Commander. Move we have 240 out. missiles. We get rid of 2035, which means we cannot even shoot 10 times with alpha strikes. 40% hit chance. Is this enough? It's not. Let's shoot. Let's shoot this only. I want to save ammo. Special delivery. Yeah. It does nothing. Alright, next turn. Three light max. And then it's us again. What's the Locust doing? That's a weird maneuver. He's not using his mobility at all. He's just standing there. He has no evasion whatsoever. Only shooting one medium laser. That was an AI fail. A hard AI fail. Second mech is backing up. He's doing something like this as well? Guys? What are you doing there? Hello, AI. Could you could you could you be smart, please? Okay, ne never mind. It's fine. Oh my God, head. So sorry for insulting you, game. You you don't have to use your RNG shenanigans to to punish me for that. Holy crap! The instant head hit. That's gonna be fine though. Like Warpath has a lot of guts. So four four HP. Mm, I want the uh, heavy mech to come closer. Uh -huh. It's a quick draw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that? So much laser fire. It is not a 4G. It's not the one that I'm running here. It is a 4... 5A. Which has a lot of medium lasers. But it's also relatively weak in the legs. So... Let's go ahead and try to kill it. That's my, that's my plan right now. Now, how do we do it? Uh, again, as I said before, we're gonna go close and we alpha strike him with a precision strike into the leg and then we follow up when he is knocked down, if he is knocked down, uh, we follow up with another strike to the other leg and try to hit him like this. However, legging the enemy would only give us two salvage. <sighs> but still, let's go for it. <laughs> That's what you get, man. That's what you get. So, side torso is exposed. We dealt more damage to the side than to the legs. This is exactly not what I wanted here. What so, glitch, glitch, could you please, could you please do me a favor? Go somewhere where where it's where it's safe. Like move up a little bit, and then you're gonna do another precision strike um, to the leg again. And we're gonna alpha strike with LRMs and medium lasers here. Heat is okay, I like this build a lot. Like, the LRM 15++, plus plus two LRM 10s, plus two medium lasers. So good. Let's try. All weapons are go. So many impacts! Yeah, critical hit! Critical hit! So he's knocked down. Not only because he lost his leg, but also because... Bam! We got so much stability damage on this guy with our LRM barrage. Holy crap. Oh no, that was fun. Okay, and now, yes, now we can actually go ahead and follow up with... Um, oh, look at this. No, only, only indirect fire if I went over there. I can do it from here. And we actually have a good range on this. So, jump over here, use cover, cold shot to the legs, go. Affirmative. 
Okay. That's actually too many hits in the side torso. I don't want the side torso to... Uh, it is destroyed already, so we don't get maximum salvage whatsoever. Anyway. Let's just go ahead and kill this thing. Can, can you just stay here? You can just stay there. Uh, medium laser, 60% hit chance only. So if I went forward a little bit... Like... No? I had to go over here to get maximum hit chance. But this doesn't give us any cover. I'm gonna stay here. 60% is good enough. Heat is okay. Let's go. Should be it. Ugh, CT destroyed. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Enemy. It's okay. It's okay. We got one quick drop hard, at least. And now we have to destroy the reinforcements. Alright. So we have... Uh, two Locusts and a Panther. And the Panther... Oh, oh this is interesting. Like, how did this other game work? Like, I have, I played this, you know, one of this of these missions before, where I, again, I counted seven mechs and a tank. Uh, interesting. Quick draw taking some beating, but the quick draw is, again, my sturdiest mech right now, and it can actually take it. Now, the problem is that the panther is running away, and I don't want him. Ooh, damn it! 50 damage, pinpoint! Not good, not good! This breach is armor like nothing. Still holding together though. Okay. Now what we do as our next move is we bring um glitch. We bring glitch over here. She's having direct line of sight to the panther. Panther is at the moment the I think the most dangerous target because the PPC it it can just cripple my max hard. We're gonna go for center torso directly. I don't wanna. Just salvage a panther, therefore we do this. Of course you can try to build them, so that's a nice way of income. If you if you try to just salvage as many mech parts as possible, you have a chance on get the mech at some point and then sell it, because you can you can get massive massive sea builds out of it, like 200,000 for a light mech, depending on which light mech of course. But yeah. Anyway. Commander? Kevlar. Go in there and please destroy the locust for me. Can you do this? Please. The locust is so nasty. Here we go. Shall we go for a precision strike? I think we can take it. If we destroy him right now, we get uh, some morale back. 10-4. CT destroyed. Nice. I need a new target. So at the moment I'm just working towards um, not getting any more injuries, not getting my, my mechs uh, damaged. That's my, my main goal right now. Let's jump into line of sight to the panther. Uh, this is no line of sight. However, this is. It's good hit chance. Copy that. And I... Oh, okay. This is interesting. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna take the... We're gonna take the shot. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. That's exactly what I needed here. Right torso destroyed. Right arm destroyed. He's even knocked down. Pilot injured. No problem. Uh, the thing is, the PPC is down. It was uh, sitting in the right arm. And uh, the, I'm not afraid of the panther anymore. So what my warpath can do now is just go ahead and just <laughs> kill the locust with our massive SRM and medium laser barrage. Let's go. Hi, locust. I know you have a 25% damage reduction from cover, but that won't save you against what I have in stock for you guys. All weapons committed. Uh... Yeah, about that. <laughs> it didn't kill, but it ripped him apart. Oh my god. Ah, oh, 2 HP! Are you kidding me? 2 HP. And now I can't see it coming. He, he's gonna get back, shoot a medium laser straight to the cockpit, another injury. Something like that will happen here. Will it? Yeah, slowly limping away. Oh god, he hit me. Please help me, Panther. Oh no, you're lying on the ground as well. What am I gonna do? Oh, I'm probably dying. So, Panther knocked down. It's great. Also, he is being pushed back to initiative turns because uh, Precision Strike and the knockdown. So, he will only act when, uh, when the heavy mech is ready. Which means we can just do this. Hey, dude. Uh, if we destroy the right side torso, there's another chance of a, of a pilot hit. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Let's go. Got it. Let's go. That's what I imagined. So 
so fun to watch the, the LRMs here. It's just missiles, missiles, missiles. You get some missiles and you get some missiles. Everybody gets some missiles. Like, oh my god. This is so fun. Good to go. Good to go. All right, Locust. Uh, you cannot run away. You know that, right? Hey, dude. Oh, I can only hit this. This is actually pretty smart, exposing the back armor. This is the... <laughs> like, regarding this, two, two HP in the center torso, four HP in the leg, and if I went for a precision strike, I could only hit... I, I only hit the back here. This is smart. I mean, it won't help him, but it is smart. Now, let's go. On it. Given the circumstances, it was probably the best move he could do. <laughs> anyway, we got it. Nice mission there. It was easier than I thought. I mean, that was a two-skull mission. Alright, all targets down, Commander. Good shooting. Now we mission negotiated for maximum salvage here, which was... Uh, yeah, questionable. And we only get one part for the quick draw. That's a shame, but... Maybe in the next missions we get some more. I like the quick draws. They're pretty cool. So yeah, our payout is minimum. And we definitely take the quick draw, probably finish up the Locust here, or the Panther. Is there anything good here? Nothing. Oh god. Yeah, let's take the mech parts. Let's finish the Locust, we can sell that for 100,000 or so. And uh, we hope for the rest. Let's see. We negotiated for so much salvage here, shouldn't have done that. I expected more, but... You never know. You don't know beforehand. Anyway, that was that. Let's go over to the next mission, which will be our priority mission. I want to go ahead and uh, play the storyline. So that's what we are here for in the first place, right? That's the goal for today. And uh, we're quickly going to get out of here. We have some injuries, sadly. But I believe we have some travel time anyway. Yeah, Locust. Um, it's interesting in, in that it can churn out a decent volley of LRMs. No, don't, we don't do this. Absolutely not. Uh, we could scrap it for 136,000, but uh, if you send it to storage, we can sell it later for a higher price. So, what we need to do now, Warpath is out of action for 19 days. 19 days, alright. Which gives us some time. I believe we have to travel anyway. It takes us 25 days to get there, which we are going to take now. Let's go. We're gonna go and travel here. Also, I probably want to... Refit some max. Wait, let me see. We can use the time to to refit something here. The blackjack is fine as it is right now. I like it. It's just straightforward. So easy. Quick draw is good. The centurion is a monster. The shadowhawk. I am not satisfied with the shadowhawk right now. But what are we gonna do with it? Now we have two LRMs here, and a medium laser, and an AC5. <sighs> the jump jets. Hmm. Can we? Can we? We have an AC10. I didn't know that we had an AC-10. I think we just figured it out. Holy crap. I think that's gonna be it. It's not It's not efficient though, that's the problem. We can get some nice 60, 60 damage, it's super good. Punches big holes uh, into enemies. Um, let me think about my composition now. We have the, the medium laser spam, which is 25 damage, randomly. Uh, SRM spam on the quick draw. Close range, splash. We have the Centurion with long range splash. We have our Blackjack also with splash. Again, 25 damage, serious damage, but still splash. Um, again, six individual um, damage sources. Having one big pinpoint source is probably a good idea. So we can take out tanks reliably with this. We can go for weak spots reliably with this. Um, I believe I'm gonna take out the LRMs here to bring the AC-10. I think this is better. We don't need any heat sinks. 60 damage compared to... Like our firepower goes down at the same time. We could also take the PPC. <laughs> hmm. It's a long range then. I mean, the AC-10 is super tempting. What about an AC-10 and a large laser? If I strip down armor, no, it's not possible. Uh, this is not looking good. The Shadowhawk is just super sturdy, and it um, works best with a lot of small weapons, which just dish out a lot of damage. So, like, put two SRM6s and an SRM4 and a medium laser in there, and it's super good. The big ballistic is just not really what I want. 
So I, I want something like, like this, actually, to make the mech viable. Um, yeah, we take the large laser here. Um, you know, so something like this. Or we take a medium laser and a small laser, but then we had another close ranger. Do we need this? Actually, yes. Actually, this is a... Ah! We're gonna leave it. You know what? All the talking... Or nothing. We're gonna... No, not, not repair. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for something good. There's no need that I refit this thing now. Because it performs alright. It's not crazy, but it performs alright. And we have a frontliner already, so we, I think we don't need another one. Therefore, I'm gonna skip here. Anyway, let's uh, keep going. We have, again, 19 days until the Warpath is back in duty. And uh, travel time is 23 days. So maybe we get some nice event going for us. I like the event system. It's so cool. I think this adds a lot to replayability. So you can, you know, build your Mech Warrior career in all different kinds of ways. And, and that's cool. So I still have enough money. That's good. And since this is a story mission, we're gonna get a nice payout after this. this uh, I believe a million and a half or something. So after that, we, we are gonna be space rich and we can actually try to invest into better weapon systems that we actually can use to outfit our, our mechs better. At the moment, again, we are okay, but it's not optimized yet. Also, we don't have enough uh, plus weapons yet or plus plus weapons or even higher. So getting this as a, as a better battlefield performance is kind of crucial. Uh, looking out for these for these better weapons. Okay, we are in transit. Let's jump. Alrighty, and here we are. Let's undock, and then we're gonna we're gonna travel to the to the orbit here. Nice. So I'm a little bit spoiled um, regarding this mission. I already played it on my on my stream. I don't know if I said that before. I'm uh, doing a stream campaign as well uh, on Twitch. So if you haven't already, check out my Twitch page. Link is down below in the description. You can leave a follow there so that you get the notification whenever I go online. You will see a lot of Battletech there. You will see Mac Warrior online, of course. Occasionally, I play Slade Aspire. So uh, you could leave a follow if you want. And we have arrived at Weldry. I'm not yet ready. Uh, I want to see. Oh, we cannot shop here, sadly. But maybe there's a nice Mac Warrior. Nope. I believe we're ready then. Let's go. That was easy. But the warpath is back. And we can launch a contract. First strike. In orbit. Weldry. Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. And for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has a solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. Seems fair. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free. Not for our polit political gain, but because they are our people and we need your help to do it. Aren't the Founding Lords and Ladies supposed to be the powerless figureheads? Um, I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into, what makes Weldry so inhospitable. That's an interesting question. Everything, from the sub-zero climate to the inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. Uh, can I reconsider, please? I hate bugs. Oh, God. You're shitting me. <laughs> I'm afraid not. They are called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine a, col a col colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. <laughs> Great. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. Oh, this is getting better and better. I am not entirely sure if you want to go down there. And you're dropping infantry there? On purpose? <laughs> the army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. 
but thank you for your concern, Mr. Britannian. <laughs> so good. Alright, you got an army. What do you need us for? This is great. Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After drawing their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt. All in one f fell swoop. Okay. Background, Oregon soldier. Reminds me of a lighting raid I went on for your father's military. That was a good plan too, right up until we made contact with the enemy. Yeah. I do understand what you are saying, Morpath, and the chaos of the battlefield is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You and Mastiff imp improvised on Cormodier and you got me through the coup alive. I'll be counting on you to use the same adap uh, adapt adaptability on Weldry should the need arise. I remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Warpath. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned after the Directorate presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated. We'll regroup to celebrate our victory. All right, I'm up for it. I like celebration, I like partying. Actually, my birthday party is about to drop. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna play it like like this, exactly like this. We have the Centurion is the, is our backliner. We got the Shadowhawk and the Quick Draw is our frontliner, or Quick Draw frontliner, Shadowhawk mid ranger, and the Blackjack for mid range support fire as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave Decca and Medusa at home, and we're gonna deploy. Let's go story mission. I'm looking forward to this. This is so cool. And again, I I know what's happening already. I know it. It's gonna be a nice fight though. I like this fight here very much. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pre actually pretty tough as well. So hopefully we get we get into a nice nice skirmish here, a nice battle. And I wonder, since I've played this once, I'm, I'm gonna let you know later, um, if the enemy forces are different um, in each playthrough, or like if they are randomized, uh, kind of, so that you that you can actually play um, play this mission, even if it's a story mission. Uh, play the mission through multiple times and still get surprised. That would be cool. That would be really nice. Like last time I played this here. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna spoil you. Okay. I'm after after we we did what we've done, uh, or what we want to do here is uh, I'm gonna give you some some info on Command what it was the last time. Initiated. There are two entrances on the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two the two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically, practically nil, as predicted. Lady Arana's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison standard grisen away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen. Nothing that you can't handle. Clear the way, clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. All right. Okay. Let's get an overview here. So we got two turret generators here, and we got a bunch more of these over here. And we have gate here, we have a gate here, and we are supposed to go over here to free the prisoners. So let's make a move, shall we? What I want to do is uh, probably uh, sprint over here and then aye jump aye. on top of the thing to destroy the, the generators. Bring the rest around the left side to attack the other Roll generators there. At least that's the plan. Let's see how long it withstands the enemy. Okay. Enemy turn. Cool. So who is our dedicated turret generator destructor? Probably Warpath in his quick draw. Because it's the sturdiest mech. It's okay to bring him to the front there. The rest is gonna gonna go flanking. And now we're going to work on this first generator here. 100 damage that we need to do and I do not want to generate so much heat although we are in a tundra biome uh, increases a unit's heat sinking ability by 10% so we j just sink more heat um, I don't want to go so hard on this since we only need to deal 100 damage so this is 48 this is 48 it's already almost enough and then two medium lasers to make sure L let's go Okay, that's enough. Target building destroyed. Target building destroyed. I hear ya. 
Okay, and now we could go over here, move there, shoot some LRMs on top. Move there. Shall we? I think ammo is not gonna be a big issue here. I think ammo is not gonna be a big issue here. Let me think about it. We have like, um, this is 60 damage. I had to shoot everything. Can we do it better? With the blackjack, for example. Okay. I'm gonna shoot... This does more stability, right? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Doesn't say here. Oh no, this has crit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shoot this. It's fine. Dealing some damage and then bringing the blackjack up there. Because the blackjack has... Has some jump jets as well. We can jump to the cover, Engaging to the forest, and go around here. Nice. Okay. Only shooting the mediums. I do not want to shoot the ACs here for a particular reason. I want to keep my, my refire penalty down. Also, two should be enough since this has 24 hit points, and I believe one medium laser will hit. Now, refire is a thing that you get when you shoot ballistic weapons, which is basically recoil. And um, if you shot your weapon the turn before, you shoot now, then uh, you get a minus one penalty or so. Yeah, I think it's minus one. And um, there's no need wrecking that up right now. You go over here. Roger that. Roger that. So we're gonna engage the other turrets. And we have enemy contact now. All right. Which is actually bad. I should have I should have stayed out of here. Because I could have gotten a little bit closer to the to the turret generators when um, when I didn't get the contact, but I got it now. All right. So what do we do here? Turret generators first priority, and I'm not even kidding. Um, Good to go. I need line of sight though, so I'm gonna reserve. I wanna let the vehicle come close and see what it is. Two vehicles. Because maybe, just maybe, this is something scary and we have to deal with it. Uh, yeah, reserve to last turn. Now, why did I do this? Because the vehicles provide line of sight. If they have this missile encampment, um, it won't shoot now. If I went forward, the turrets act in the last initiative turn, then they had a chance to shoot me now. I don't know if it's still working, but... I'm gonna try now. So, let's see, Warpath, can you get line of sight to this? Y y we only need line of sight, or maybe just sensor. No, we need we need line of sight. I believe Glitch isn't able Waiting to shoot this, right? No, not at all. Okay, so we're gonna jump to get the uh, three evasive chevron and get a little bit ahead. All right, and I'm gonna brace here. So this is supposed to be my frontliner. If something shoots at my team, then the quick draw should be it. What's up, boss? Okay, Shadowhawk can get line of sight to one of the tanks. Over here, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's get some damage in, I, I suppose. On the move. And here it is, so. This is the warden. We have an intruder alert. All combat units. As soon as the line of sight is established, the turrets will activate. This is it. This is what I expected here. Now what do we have? We have a striker. Okay. Relatively bad front armor. I can destroy this thing if I hit my AC5 to the front and then some follow-up with the arms. But I could hit it, uh, destroy it also if I hit the side, this side. Anything is good. So. I'll the only thing that needs to hit is my AC5 and then the sprinkles from the LRMs will probably kill it. Let's see. That was it already. Wow. Side also destruction there. Nice. That was good. Vehicle trash. Now they lost line of sight again. So I wonder if the turret is actually gonna activate. Doesn't seem like it. Nice. What can I do for you? Cool. So we got a uh, glitch in a Centurion. Centurion cannot jump, so Standing let's by. see if we can establish line of sight over here. We sadly have to move down there and we do not have cover there. 
But I want to I wanna destroy the vehicles as quickly as possible, as I said. We get four evasion, though, if I do it over here. This is massive. And yes, I am completely ignoring my plan, bringing the quick play to the front line. But I get the chance to destroy a vehicle here. And uh, getting out enemy firepower has a higher priority for me to just... Or than just taking th less damage. Because this is actively working towards taking less damage. Now, we want to go for the Bulldog. Bulldog is pretty scary. Uh, side Torso is probably the way to go here with a Precision Strike. Because we have high morale already. So we can use a little bit of this to just take it down. I just wait, I entered a Scorpion. I wanted to aim at the Bulldog here. And we're gonna fire everything. This should be good. Not enough. Also makes it so that he gets pushed back one initiative turn. Uh oh, sensor lock on the on the blackjack. It's not a big problem though, because um, Kevlar has the bulwark ability, so Wait, she can you, just she can just um, stay there and trench, and she's fine. Moving out. Okay, now that we have line of sight, we can bring in glitch and then rain some missiles upon the head of the bulldog. Oh yeah. Side armor is super critical already. I'm not going for another precision strike here, although she has the. Um, she is inspired and is uh, only taking up 10. Like 10 morale. Uh, I just think it's gonna be enough anyway. So, regular attack. And this is the cool thing about the build it is so heat neutral. It only generates heat when you fire the medium lasers. This is so fun, this feels so rewarding, just raining hell on the enemy, like that. Ooh, large laser fire, that was from a turret, that's actually scary. Alright, the second turret, it's not firing, good. So, what I want to do now, or what I need, need to do now, is I want to take Kevlar, since I want to bring Bulwark online as quickly as possible for a defensive maneuver here. And we're gonna shoot the the scorpion. Question is, am I gonna am I gonna go for a precision strike? Since I want this thing down, because he's gonna it's gonna shoot next turn after her, after she's done. Um, because of wait, I'm gonna show you. Because of this, this is the this is the tank here. It's gonna act after I, I use Kevlar. So taking it down without taking any return fire it seems like a nice idea. But I want to keep up my morale. I believe I can just rely on RNG here. Let's go. Ten four. Come on. Yes. Okay. And this is it. This is what I was uh, saying earlier. If I had that AC ten now ready, I would have taken one shot. Like one shot would have killed anything because of the, the low armor of the vehicle. So this was actually pretty much spread up, and therefore there was a chance that I could not kill it. Good to go. So let's get uh, locks on the on the turrets here. I'm gonna reserve once. I wanna see if, if Warpath can get a line of sight to the generators. Oh, there's another vehicle coming. Interesting. But still, we we want to shoot uh, the turret generators. I hear ya. Glitch cannot do it right now. She since she's out of out of range. That's actually a problem. She's just out of range. Maybe I can hit this. But I do not want to take a risk. I believe I have to bring in line of sight. I'm not sure about this though. So what I could technically do is uh, I could just sprint down here. And sadly there's no cover. And just use evasion and hope for the best. Again, I, I want to make sure that, that I get rid of the turrets. That's my priority right now. Oh, two vehicles actually. Okay, the prison gates on either side are gonna be your best point of entry into the complex. Blow them down and make your way inside, or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Alright. Can do. My turn. Now we have... what do we have here? Uh, a bulldog, large laser, damn it. And a scorpion, yeah. I should have expected this. Waiting on you, Commander. So we can shoot... oh, we can shoot the turrets here. And we have multi-target. We do not have enough firepower to bring down... Um, two generators at the same time. It's sadly not possible. <sighs> I think the turret generator is the best bet since it doesn't have any hitboxes or heat regions. 
And um, I believe that's the best way to take out firepower in one shot. On my way. So that's what we're gonna do. And we are already running low on ammo. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 100 damage. As I stated earlier, it's 60 coming from here, 40 coming from there. If I miss one shot, this is it. But I also could uh, follow up with the Shadowhawk afterwards, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh -huh. I want to save ammo on the Centurion. That's all I I care right for right now. Maybe we have to reconsider the build a bit because it's super low on ammo already. Anyway, Shadowhawk more. coming in. What I can do here is use multi-target to finish off the first turret generator and then work towards the second. So so handy. The skill is so good. Okay, one, two. Um, how much damage do we need here? Can I can I see this, please? Four. Huh. Four damage. Wait, we're gonna do one, two. One, two. Okay. This is gonna go for B. This is gonna go for A. So turret generator in the back. Is the one with the yeah okay so let's do it like this. Take that. One tour down. It's always nice if you can if you can shoot at in enemy buildings that do not fight back, right? Sensor lock. Oh oh not good. I was I was counting so much on evasion here and now they are taking it off of me. Was that the laser turret? Okay, okay, we can take this. It's good when they spread out the damage. Okay, still alive. Good. Standing by. Now we need to make sure that we get one of the vehicles down before they act. The question is which one is the Which one is the one that is acting here? It's probably the Scorpion. Prob wait, three, two. Ah! You can see the initiative turn here. Three, two. Alright, I didn't know that. You can see the initiative turn here. Cool, I found something out. Yes. Waiting for orders. Good, now we need to uh, find Commander. a way to kill it. Which would be probably shooting it with all of our weapons. I can only bring the AC2s down there, which won't be enough to kill it actually. Only if I went for a precision strike. If I jumped, I cannot shoot my mediums. I'm just barely out of range. So close. No, we can do it like this. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Gotcha. Just take it out. Again, minimizing the return fire. And honestly, we can do a precision strike. We have the morale right now, so that's actually a no-brainer. We need to take out a bunch of mediums here, so we can only shoot one additional one, but it should be enough, honestly. But we need two hits to the side. Okay, so we didn't kill, but we pushed him back one initiative turn, so that gives us some more time. Uh, completely spread up, damn it. Not good. What can I do for you? Behemoth. You gotta shoot your AC to the turret generator, and the rest is gonna go f to the scorpion. You gotta jump for the four evasion. Engaging jump jet. Taking cover. Ah, I screwed up. I screwed up hard. I do not have line of sight anymore. Okay, so then it is it is the the scorpion. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Did not see that correctly. <sighs> splash! Splash damage! Splash damage against tanks is not good. I hear ya. Okay, so I believe Lich has got has to has to finish the last tur turret there. Don't need to tell me twice. Not so good. That was that was again a mistake. I didn't. I didn't see it properly. I, s I thought it was a straight line, but it was actually just a curved line. Gotta take care of that. So, 35 damage. We can do this. No problem. LRM 15. Actually, LRM 10. LRM 15. Let's go. I want to make sure. Alright. I mean, it was an 85% chance. 
I know that hitting buildings is actually pretty easy, but sometimes, sometimes the, the pilots derp out and, and completely miss that. Okay. Bulldog is closing in. Ugh. Structure exposed now. Yeah. Warning. Armor breached. This is not good since... Oh, crap! Oh, it's the lag! Could you not? Hello? Is, is not an option? Anyways, anyways, uh, let's jump into cover. Cannot get line of sight to the other tank, sadly. But I can try to work on the turret generator, hoping that uh, I can kill it. Can I kill it? 46, 46 plus medium lasers, I'm cold, yes. So, I only get two chevrons, sadly, two evasion. We can take out firepower by shooting the, the generators. 48, 48. Plus two medium lasers. Let's do three medium lasers. We have to heat. Alright. That was important. Oh, this mission is so tense. So, turret destroyed on the right side. That's okay. I mean, yeah, we got hit, but it's the other side of the mech. And the Shadow Hawk is getting some beating too. Damage is minor. Damage is minor, though. That's good. So, guys, the only thing we need to do now is kill two tanks and one turret generator. Good to go. How do we do it? This guy's gonna gonna act now or soon. Standing by. Kevlar is hot, sadly. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> But she's gonna take the shot anyway. It should be it should be enough to kill this thing. We have five individual damage sources to hit either the turret or the front. Five chances to kill here. Let's go. Copy that, Commander. Let's hit him hard. All right. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. Okay, that, lift, that lifts our, our morale, that's good. And uh, now this guy. So what we want to do now is we probably want to bring the AC-5 to the point. Just to see where, uh, where we open up something. And then we might as well follow up with a precision, precision strike from Glitcher. So what I want to do though is um, multi-target. The LRMs are better off on the, on the turret generator. It's easier to hit. And uh, again, random damage to uh, the building is... is Better. It's just precise. Okay, let's see. Multiple enemies locked in. It looked like a sight hit. Take that, turret generator. I don't like this. This is not looking good. I mean, if the uh, the, the quick draw gets lagged, we have a bad time because this is my front line. It needs to be somewhere on the front, and uh, I'm a little bit scared. However, this, uh, this thing is dead. What can I do for you? I'm gonna reserve here. Standing by. Don't kill my quick draw. Don't lag it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's going for it. Ooh. Ooh. Still in it, guys. Still alive. Again, this is just the first part of the game here. Can you please, can you, thank you, like, yeah, attack it, step on it, destroy, kill. Engaging physical attack. Thank you, all right. So there's no need wasting ammo or heat right now. Enemy However, I was Centurion as the last, last mech to act before the turret shoots again. We need to deal 64 damage and Good I have to, know. yes, you guessed it, I have to use uh, ammo again on this thing. 60, what was that, 4? 64. So we need to shoot 40 missiles, I would say. Uh, 20, 20 missiles. This is 40 damage plus 40 damage, it's 80 in total. I think this is the, the least ammo we use now. And I want to make sure that the turret is down. Okay, fire. Here we go! Not destroyed? 
Oh, okay, so there was a delay. <gasps> I, was, I was like, wait, 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 did I do the math wrong? Did I do the math? I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm not the best at math. Actually, I'm pretty bad at it. So, sometimes I'm derping out hard, so therefore I usually, I usually double check. <laughs> like in my, in my mind. Alright, let's go for this, for this gate here, uh -huh. and then see what's happening. Cool, so what I want to do is uh, definitely, I want to regroup. I want to have the Centurion right in the middle of my, of my team here. Uh, sprint. Yeah, sprint over there. Can I melee this? Probably not. Just punch and knock at the gate. I'm there. <laughs> would be cool. It would be cool if you could do that. I just saying, bang, bang, bang. Hello. Let me in, please. Alrighty. Now we still have a lot of, lot of ammo on the Shadowhawk, so we just uh, shoot everything. There's no need not doing it. Target acquired. All right, Centurion, glitch. For orders. Run, run, run. Coordinates received. And now we're gonna we're gonna open it. Not with the SRMs, only with the medium lasers. Engaging target. And then we, we see what happens. Yes. Target building destroyed. Rolling. Okay, so we're gonna make our way towards the towards the prison. Let's uh, get in there. Waiting on you, Commander. You go over here, over here. You go over there. Copy that. You go over there. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. Static. All directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it! This is not a drill. So that's good. You've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Hmm. Okay, we bring the... We bring the quick draw to the front. We have Kefla in the blackjack. She wants to be somewhat in medium range. So, that's it. Let's see what's coming. Let's see what's coming. It's a Jenna! Alright! Hello, Jenna! Is he just running? Is he sprinting? Yeah, he didn't do anything else. Okay, this is interesting. And now he's jumping back? What was that? Wait, how could he sprint forward and then jump back and shoot? That was a double turn. Interesting. Okay, I want to... I don't want to escape. To I want to reserve here. Because I know that there's more to come. Again, they, they talked about the lands. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. It's LRM 10 and an AC 10. Centurion. Warning. Armor breached. Armor breached. Ooh, sight also critical. It's not looking good. This is not looking good. What to do? We reserve once more. We reserve once more. I'll wait here for now. Because there's something coming up as well. Oh, so much damage! And I'm unsteady. There was a Jager mech in the back. And um, to give you the context of what I what I was saying earlier, oh my god! Oh my god! No! It's the same lance. It is just the same lance. Okay, and we're gonna do something yeah, about it here. So we need to bring the Shadow Hawk to the front now. This is my, my my main objective here. Get in there. You're gonna play the tank for now. Firing. And you're gonna punish them so hard. I think I'm gonna go with the... with the Jagermech first, because the Jagermech stock is made of paper. Like, it has, like, no armor. Look at that, 20 armor on the arm. 48, 60 in the center. Nothing. And... We're gonna... Hmm. How do we do it, actually? I should have I should have done it the other way around. Damn it. So there's a trebuchet with LRMs. It's also really bad for us. And uh, a Centurion and a Jagermech. I wanna, I wanna get the Jagermech, honestly. I want this... 
and therefore I try I try to leg him and then knock him over and then do stability damage and all of that. So that's the plan. For now, I'm gonna attack the Jenner with this because the Jenner is also very dangerous. Lots of weapons there, but is also made of paper. It's even more made of paper here. So let's focus on the Jenner with the Shadowhawk because the Shadowhawk doesn't have that much firepower. Maybe we can we can get something done here. Let's go. Confirmed. Not really, not really. I was I was really hoping here, but anyway. What can I do for you? And what we can do now is we gonna bring in glitch. Three evasive is good. Moving out. We gonna attack the Jagermack with a precision strike to the leg, with LRMs, all of it, and make him unsteady, or maybe even knock him over. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Okay. He's unsteady. And the damage was completely random. What we need now is uh, 80... Ugh, so much damage. We need so much damage to get that done. Now Kevlar. I really want Kevlar to be in one spot here. Um, I, have, I like using Bulwark, but I have a feeling that I need to bring it to the front. Just to make sure that Warpath is not dying right now. Why is he running a short range loadout? Ah, I can shoot the, the Jenner a bit more. But that would. Ah. Commander? Yeah, but if this is what we do, we bring her to the front. We just. No. We bring her to the front. I want to be able to shoot the mediums as well. We do not get it. I wanted to make a precision strike to the leg again. If we jumped, can we get further? Oh, we can get further if we jump. We also get into the water. All right, Kevlar, you, you gotta take a beating for the team here. She's, she's the one on the front now, but maybe she can cripple the, the Jagermack. Let's go. Firing all weapons. Structure exposed. Was it the leg or was it the center? It was the side also actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now there's Warpath. Like, why is not, isn't he falling over? Look at this. The good thing is that he's pushed back like an, one initiative turn. So next turn we actually have some options. So we're gonna kill the Jenner. And then we're gonna deal with the rest of them. Uh, I wanna use Bulwark here. Just staying there. And just shoot at long range with my short range weapons. I don't care. I do not want to get hit whatsoever. Or if I get hit, I want to at least get some damage reduction going. Maybe that's enough to kill the Jenner. Maybe not. We're gonna see about this. Okay, we got the side torso destroyed. It takes two medium lasers out. Urgh. For the Oregon people, Kim Kamea Arano coming in. Hey, Kamea. There she is, in the Kintaro, coming in to the rescue. SRM 6s, LRM 5 and medium lasers. The cavalry has arrived. And I really hope that she draws some attention there. Obviously the Jenna is running directly towards her. Yes, this is what we need right now. Thank you, Kamiya. Kamiya. Okay, and as I said before, the, the Jagermack is gonna act in turn one, right? It means Glitch can do another precision strike. Could make also... Hmm. Could also try to make this guy unsteady. We are slightly running out of ammo, though. This guy is entrenched. This guy has two evasion nodes. Precision strike gets rid of that. But then we wouldn't have another one to follow up on the Jagermack. How much damage? Honestly, it should be enough. It should be enough stability damage from the Shadowhawk with the Lurms, LRMs, and the AC5 to actually knock him over. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, which one is the scarier target? I think the Trebuchet is the scarier target, but this guy is guarded, so we're gonna go for the Centurion. We try to hit this leg, I believe. Maybe that does something. Engage. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Structure exposed, unsteady, lost evasive, good. Now he's unsteady. It's at least something. 
And Camilla comes in. Nah, actually wrong target. Would have been cool if she shot her missiles to the Jagermag. Alright. I have a bad feeling about this. It is the blackjack. Thank you for targeting the blackjack. Oh, AI, you are the best. Thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay. We are still in it. Now, how do we how do we approach this? I, as I said before, Behemoth needs to use the, the Shadowhawks uh, stability damage from the LRMs and the AC to just randomly hit him somewhere. Engaging. Should be enough for a knockdown. Pilot injured. Kabam. Okay. Now that's good. So. Center Torso is super exposed. Like 50 damage. 67 still on the leg. That's interesting. Um, but the Jäger mech is not doing that much this turn. Waiting for orders. The Blackjack uses Bulwark. Makes a cold shot. Now where to? To the head? Shall we try to hit the head for maximum salvage? If I had other components, I'd probably destroy it. There is a slight chance that we hit the head. Hmm. I'm gonna take out... I'm gonna take out one medium laser. Ten four. Okay, that was nothing. I want maximum salvage here, therefore. <laughs> I was going for the head. Ow. Ow. Blackjack. Still stable. Getting banged up real good. <laughs> Alright. So, now the Jagermech is still online. We sadly did not hit the head whatsoever here. But Warpath can get in now and try to finish off the Centurion. Shall we do this? Or we could just stay there, use Bulwark and shoot at him. I think that's the way to go here. Or just going in there, trying to finish off the Jagger. Cold shot to the leg. Uh, maybe another cold shot to the head actually. But if I did that, I want to jump to get the higher evasion. And I want to expose the right arm because that one is still fresh ish. Cannot get line of sight. Oh. Oh, interesting. I cannot get line of sight whatsoever. Okay, so we stay here. We. we we, we just stay here and attack the Centurion. Again, Bulwark is better than just getting somewhere with evasion. At least in this mech. Alright. <laughs> now the Jäger mech stands up. Oh oh. Oh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. It's not going well. He's angry at me now. He's like, Argh! you knocked my mech over. Why would I, why would you do this? Screw you, LRM carrier! <laughs> it feels like he actually wants revenge for the LRM shooting there. Oh, this is funny. This is so, so funny. You know what? Since he stood up again, I, I have a plan now. If Kame Kamea is not uh, killing the, the Jagermech, I'm gonna pepper him with more LRM so that he gets knocked down again. So that we get another pilot injury. Oh, never mind, he has one HP. <laughs> one HP on the center torso. We are not getting anything here. Commander? Nothing at all. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> this guy is about to, to fall down. Let's do it, honestly. Um, he's gonna act in initiative turn three, if we just shoot him right now. Um, he's getting knocked down, gets pushed back, one initiative turn. That's good. That's what I want now. So, we open fire, and we are low on LRMs here. Again, we need to re rework the build. It's it's not good, it's not sustainable. Right, Commander. There goes an arm. Medium laser crit, side also destroyed. Critical hit. Knockdown. 
that's it. I like this. I like this mission so much. It's actually... It's challenging, I have to say. So the, the turrets and the tanks softened us up. And now we have to... We have to work around what's here. Alright. You did not kill him. Okay. Wow, the multi-target. Wow, Kamea's getting angry at everybody. Holy crap. Now the question is, what is the trebuchet doing? Do not shoot the quick draw. Okay, the Centurion. It seems like... Structure exposed. Actually, it seems like the game wants me to, to keep the pilot alive. It would be so easy to take down the quick draw. But he doesn't take it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me check. Wait, where is where is my Centurion? Side torso is open. This is bad because if that falls off, we lose all the LRMs here, and they are just destroyed then, and we have to replace them. Um, okay, so what about the initiative turns? Receiving you. We still have the Jäger Mac with one HP. One. This guy is about to fall as well. We're gonna do multi-target here. I'm just staying here. Doesn't matter. We don't get the salvage anyway. Since, again, 1 HP. Never ever gonna get that. So what we do here is uh, shoot AC5 and medium laser to the Jenna and the Lerms to the Jäger Mech to get it down. Splitting fire. Goodbye. It was the easiest task in the world. One shot to the center torso. And you split it up completely. One shot, one hit. You had ten chances to hit it. Ten. I'm here. Ten. Oh my god. Alright. I have multi-target here as well. Okay, A, B. So, B. You need one hit. And A. Let's go. Split fire. Confirmed. Okay, this is good. Now oh, please kill this! I don't want him to shoot again. You fired! You 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 just fired! This is, I don't want to see you in this office anymore. Oh crap, oh crap. How can you not hit the center torso of Jägermech? Do I have to show you how to do it? Are you playing with your food again? You shouldn't play with your food. <gasps> oh my god. So what I'm gonna do now here is I'm gonna shoot the uh, trebuchet. Because uh, it's a scarier target right now. And uh, the trebuchet is gonna act in initiative turn 3 next turn. I don't want that to happen. So, actually... Hmm... Maybe we can get a trebuchet here. Use Bulwark. Only 40% hit chance. That's not so good. Because why why is that? Um can I can I please Why why don't I get an angle here? Like this was ah okay. This was higher head chance. Um yeah I'm just mildly out of range. Damn it. I mean if you have to move then let's let's move completely. Let's jump actually. Over here. It was bad. I'm engaging from the right side now. That was that was dumb. That was, I should have engaged from the other side. I cannot hit the leg now. Uh, mistakes were made. Anyway, heat management is okay. Let's go. All I'm happy if I destroy the arm. This is okay. So we remove firepower. But my my initial goal. Going for salvage here. Uh, I completely failed it. Jäger down. Finally. Okay. Thank you, Kamea. Please don't don't injure my pilots. And my mechs. Oh, 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 oh. No. Okay. I'm steady. Still alive though. 
Oh crap. The Centurion needs some, some days in the repair bay. And I'm pretty happy that this is still online. So let's just go ahead and kill this. Good to go. Um. Um. Attack. Eat. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Fire. Wait, actually. Let's do it like this. Here we, go. we only have 15 mi missiles left. And I want to make sure that they are actually coming out of the good launcher. Like that, man. I can learn as well. Who's the Lurmbo now? <laughs> okay. Um, we can do another precision strike, and I believe we're gonna do it yes, with Kevlar. Commander. Since Kevlar has... No. Better idea. What's up, boss? We're gonna do it with the... Oh, I cannot. I wanted to bring the AC5 to the leg. Let him fall over. And then shoot the other leg as well, when he was knocked down. But uh, it's not possible, so... Move here. Shoot him. Thank you. Giving him everything Doesn't matter anymore. I don't need to back up to get the Lerms on point. He's dead. Hopefully. Okay, that should be it. I can go for it. Why Why is it cheaper on, on her mech? Or did the hit just give us more morale? I need to rewatch that. Did the hit give us morale? Just the point that we needed to get the precision strike out now. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, here, shoot. Uh, which leg? Like this. Left leg. Uh, right leg. Never mind. Down! That's Sit down, son! Yes! We actually made it out alive. I was ac actually pretty scared. Um, that my warp half would die in the quick draw. Honestly, um, that was super risky. Anyway, we got it. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Orano. I'll have Sumir bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating. Not after what I saw out here. God, Darius, the things the Directorate has done to these people. Come here. I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see it for yourself and... Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Alright. We got it. Next story mission done. And we all survived. Sadly, we didn't get the Jäger mech. That would have been cool. But we get at least one part. So, let's see. Let us see. Oh, wait. There is... There is... Okay, mission debriefing. Uh, 1.7 million, that's great. That fills up our funds big time. And we get... Part of the Jägermag, part of the Trebuchet. We're gonna take another Centurion. Any good weapons here? SRM-6, actually I want this. This has priority for me right now. I don't care about the Jenna so much, but... Oh, and an AC-10. We have one AC-10 already. I want the SRM-6. Do I? Do I? Let me think about it. Actually, it would be better if my if my Shadowhawk has an SRM-6 instead of the AC-5. Yeah, we're gonna build it like this. Did get two AC-5s, one AC-2, two large laser, LRM, medium laser. All right, it's fine. It's okay. I can deal with this. It's fine. Okay, and I think I think we have a, a cutscene now. Let me let me check that, and I think I'm gonna disable the cam for it because it's a pretty intense one. What is Camilla gonna see there? I don't know. Actually, I do know. <laughs> so have fun with the cutscene, guys. Come on. Holy crap. What takes you so long? I wanna see it. Is my game crashed? No. Hello? Game? Are you here? I don't know. I'm here. I don't know what the game is up to. Um, okay, this is a bit, bit, little bit weird. 
I didn't have any crashes so far since I unlocked um, or I activated V-Sync. That really helped with my graphics card. Oh, By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was here all this time. The music adds so much to these cutscenes. This is so, so great. Oh, so good. So good. Anyway, uh, we are on the ship again. Kamea, I'm sorry. I know how much must have meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to both of us. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me. And my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock. To die wretched and broken in agony. I knew Sir Roger longer than either of you. I'll avenge him. I promise you that. That's what we do. We'll avenge him together. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a mean meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't, uh, it isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all over the, all over the way to Cormodier to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's population there. Hmm, galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Rano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, I am appreciable. an appreciable as percentage of Cormodius population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life in, on the throne world considerably. And people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. Alright. <laughs> With our victory on Weldry, we've seen that what happened to those who would not be bought or indoctrinated, those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know we know what became <laughs> sorry again. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough the entire reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. That's what I always say. If you are ahead, take advantage of it. If you have momentum, go. So, uh, same is true for MacWarrior Online. Very important. Anyway, you're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing. But, Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other side of the battlefield. The work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. Background, Oregon soldier. If I hadn't left the Oregon military to, re to join Raju, I'd have wound up in the Directorate's army. I'd be complicit in this. I'm not gonna go with this. <laughs> Espinosa is a monster. This confirms it. We gotta sweet talk her, yeah? We've set the people free. In the end, that's what matters. Yeah, we are pragmatic. Let's go for the last one. <laughs> I'm not certain that the people here will ever truly be free. Take a good long look into the eyes of any of these prisoners. Do you know what you'll see? My uncle's legacy. A wound that will never heal. I'd do anything to spare these poor souls the hurt that they caused, but I can't. Oh my god. <sighs> Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano? Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. 
Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something. And you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertanen. You have a good crew, Warpop. I have, new uh, I have an, a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She is in rough shape, but she appears to be space-worthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action and not symbols, and so Warpath, I have decided that she will be yours to command. Yes, yes, we got a big spaceship now. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. The Argo will serve you as a new home and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will, f you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone own your company to a razor's edge. One that will hold, that I will hold to the directorate's throat. I like the words. I like the words that they put in her mouth. Like the, um, the devs and the story writers here. This is really cool. So she, she is, she's like, she can hold speeches. You, you can really tell that, that she is a born leader. Uh, in that case, congratulations. You got yourself a navy. Sounds good to me, Lady Irana. We'll transition to the Argo directly. Or guess we've got a new ship. Here's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. Yes. <laughs> I'm betting my life that she won't. Now, please, come here. Go back to the triage tent and get those wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond insanity. Oh, unsa <laughs> insanity, yeah. Beyond unsanitary. And you'll be of no use if anyone, if, uh, to anyone if you are dying of tetanus. <laughs> Our soldiers can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander. But not just yet. Assemble your people in the courtyard. There is something that I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. But the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Goosebumps. <laughs> oh, the speech. Oh, guys. Oh, the, so the cutscenes and the music and everything comes together. This is so beautiful. But there's still some things more for this video here. Look at this. Dr. Farah Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi. I'm Dr. Farah Mura, uh, or just Farah if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Uh, yeah, Doc, you too. Um, I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. <laughs> Yang is the best. That was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, 
I had my doubts. Honestly? I did too. <laughs> you should have seen what the Argus interior looked like after a couple of hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I'll take it back. If you'd seen what I saw, you'd never had wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. <laughs> the ship is clean enough to eat off. Off, I swear. It. Um. Mm, yeah, I'm sure we all appreciate it. Clean is good, space worthy is better. You sure the Argo can reach for action? Oh, uh, is ready for action? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Lyriton with uh, Nary decompression, even inside. Don't worry, Commander. I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates and putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got professional standards to maintain. Wait, new crewmates? Do you know something that we don't? Hang on a second, Doc. This is my company and I decide who is in and isn't on my crew. Yeah, that Yang, we finally getting a shitboard engineer. Oh, let's mock our own engineer. <laughs> That's good, because I don't have a clue how, how anything on this boat works. Frankly, I'm amazed that Dr. Murad managed to get her flying at all. Honestly, I'm too. Only a little, because I'm very good at what I do, but... It was kind of a touch and go there for a while. <laughs> oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out... Getting shot at by pirates puts me on an edge. No hard feelings. Ah, none at all. Keep the beast flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd been working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Fjelder campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what the High Lord Tamadi paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Alright, you'll be welcome. You will be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, Lord Madeira, or being remembered is the best that any mercenary can hope for, or this is all very heartwarming, but I want to see my new ship. I want to see my new ship. Let's go. Gimme, gimme. Of course, Commander Maya. Quite right. You remember Lady Arana's orders while you wait for a call, you are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Max. The whole Rimward periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I gotta say. Alright. You're telling me? You're telling me. We've been cooped up in that little patch of frontier for too damn long. Or we'd better put the freedom to good use. It won't be long before Lady Rana comes calling. Or how about Yang? You excited? You excited? Yang? Yeah, boss, I'm practically giddy. So what the hell are we still still hanging around here talking? We've got a whole new ship to check out. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We are free agents until Lady Arana calls for us, and there's money to be made. The Argo is in no good shape, Commander, but with time and money and some chief veteran chief veteran's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Rana said she wanted to us to get stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrap mechs from the missions and shops and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Come on, continue. Alright, we made it. Now, we have the Argo. Look at this beauty. I mean, it's a little, little patchy here and there, but uh, it's not, not collapsed, hopefully, due to, uh, I don't know, interstellar travel or something. But, um, yeah, we can upgrade the thing. And that's the cool part of the game. Now, there are some upgrades which are not available yet, because we actually have to upgrade the power system before we could... And this is the thing that I want to do very early. We can go for repair and scaffolding. So 
that gives us plus two tech points, which makes it so that you repair your mechs faster, you refit them faster, and uh, they're actually a little bit more to come here. Plus more, plus two more, plus two more, and uh, we have a mech tech of five compared to the three we had before in our Leopard. Um, however, this is the thing that I want to get first. It's my very first thing. Because uh, the training module 1 gives us a passive 20 experience gain each day on all of our mech warriors. So even the ones that are just sitting around on the bench doing nothing gain experience while the other ones are fighting on the front line. Which makes it so if one of them are uh, is getting injured or even killed, which will not happen hopefully, uh, you still have a mediocre mech warrior that you can just uh, replace and uh, you can go from there. So I think I'm gonna use this training module or get this training module first. Uh, but we need a power upgrade. The repaired Kawa conduits. So let's build this. Takes 10 days, costs us 90,000, and we have an, uh, an upkeep cost for that. So that increases our monthly our monthly pay here. But since we are super rich, it's not gonna be a problem. Alrighty. We're gonna take a look at our um, mech bay real quick. Because I wanna see how badly our mechs are damaged. We've got the quick draw in pretty bad shape. Let's see. Uh, oh, actually, three days, that's fine. That's not that bad. Centurion? I think he's in even worse condition. Four days. We can handle this. And then we have a Vindicator that is uh, not that interesting anymore. I think oh, I have to repair to store it, so we have to repair it anyway. And that's it. We finally have the Argo, everybody. Let's take another look at it while I'm doing the wrap-up here. So that was uh, two cool missions. We had uh, have another story mission going. Uh, next video is gonna be some mercenary contracts that we try to get uh, that we used to get some more money and salvage and increase our experience and our our mech base like the mechs in our mech base and I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel or support me if you want the link is down below in the description just go over to my patreon page it's uh, patreon.com slash molten metal uh, you can get some nice rewards in return and I hope to see you next time guys goodbye